ん、こんにちは。こんにちは。Thank you for watching the series program. Let's talk about Pax Japanica. And from this week, we have a new host. Mr. Kano just returned from an an a trip to Japan from the United Kingdom. So, Nakano-san, welcome home. And could you please introduce yourself、um, to our audience? Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Nakano.、Mm-hmm. Um, I was studying international relations with human rights studies、yeah. at、uh, University of Sussex、mm-hmm. in the UK. Yeah, and I came back here this year,、mm-hmm. and now that、uh, I'm working here、mm-hmm. as a corporate、yeah. planning group、yeah. with Miss Lau, <laughs> I'm glad to work with you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and uh, uh, why? And、um, did did you choose、um, the United Kingdom as your destination?、Um, because I always wanted to、um, do something that's related to global studies. Yeah. And University of Sussex has、mm-hmm. a good,、uh, you know, rating、yes. for global studies, and that's、mm-hmm. ha- that's why I decided to study、mm-hmm. there. Okay, thank you. And before you entering ISEA, so have you ever heard the word Pax Japanica? Um, to be honest, no.、Yeah. But I I've heard of、uh, Pax Britannia. Oh yeah, Pax America. Pax yeah, Romania. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and、mm, me too. <laughs> and、uh, how do you understand this word Pax Britannia? Um. So I would say、mm. to say it briefly,、yes. Japan's playing a key role in the world、yeah. when it comes to economy,、mm-hmm. politics, and technology. Yeah. For the purpose of the world peace.、Mm-hmm. Of course. And that's a very good answer. Thank you. <laughs> and、um, actually, Miss Nagano and I will start to、um, conceptualize the concept of Pax Japonica from from now. <laughs> and narrative the concept with the global agenda. So we will share our progress about this task with you in the following programs. So don't miss it. And so today we will talk another topic. It's about the Hime Cut. So, have you ever heard the word himekat? Yes, of course. I'm、yes. Japanese myself.、So、yeah, of course. I'm Japanese. <laughs> so,、um, himekat literally means prince cut, which is a popular hairstyle. You can see picture in the screen, and it's a hairstyle for the Nobel women in Japanese Heian Jidai. Yes. So,、um, the style is、uh, characterized with its straight cut on the side of the face. It's creating a very interesting frame. So the first time I saw the hairstyle is in a Japanese animation named Ikkyu-san. So do you know the Ikkyu-san yeah. animation? Yeah. Yeah. So Ikkyu-san's mother was,、uh, who is a princess, kept kept his、uh, kept her hairstyle like this. And I think most of the foreigners、uh, know Hime Cut from Japanese animation or films. So、um, how about how do you think about Hime Cut? Do you like this? Hairstyle? Yeah, I think it's really cute.、Um, yeah, I wouldn't try it myself because <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, because of my、um, shape of my face. Yes, but yeah,、mm-hmm. I think it's really cute.、Mm-hmm. It makes the face look smaller than yeah. usually. Yeah. yeah. So、uh, that's true. Actually, this years in Western countries, he may cut become very popular in young girls. Now here is picture. You can see screen, and、um, this is the picture of a luxury brand Prada, Prada's winter and autumn fashion show in 2021. And Hime Cut was、uh, sported by the world top models, and they look so smart and modern. So,、uh, Miss Nagano, do you have any foreign friends、um, who tried this hairstyle? I actually do、mm-hmm. know one friend.、Oh, really? And, yeah,、mm-hmm. she's from Hong Kong, and、mm-hmm. she got her hair cut like that,、mm-hmm. and then it looks really cute on her. Uh huh. So、um, why did did she choose to try this hairstyle? Um. So I think、mm-hmm. she's personally interested in、mm-hmm. Japanese culture.、Okay. She always um loves how Japan is and.、Mm-hmm. Then, Well, it's kawaii style. Kawaii style. She she likes kawaii stuff. So yeah. Maybe he she like the animation or like cosplay. Um,、mm. I don't think she does uh、mm-hmm. cosplay, but yeah. yeah. And she just <laughs> very interested in this kind of yeah, yeah culture. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Okay, that's interesting. And I think Hime Cut is also a kind of kawaii culture, as we mentioned in the last program, with the population of Japanese animations and games to Western. 
young generations and has been deeply influenced by Chinese culture. So, uh, Ms. Nagana, do you have um, some friends in the United Kingdom as you have been there for four years? Yeah. Um, are there any um, British they are very interested in the Japanese culture or they are learning Jap Japanese now? Yeah, um, mm -hmm. of course, I usually hang out with those people mm -hmm. who are interested in not only Japanese mm -hmm. culture but Asian culture. Mm -hmm. And yeah, most of them watch anime and mm -hmm. they yeah. some, some of them do cosplay as well. Mm -hmm. They are male or female? Uh, both. Both, yeah. yes. Okay, now this news um, just remind me of uh, the three kinds of people who visit Japan, as the Miss Halada mentioned last time. Mm -hmm. Halada, Miss Halada said, in his point of view, who visit Japan can be divided into three kinds. Can you guess where, which is the what? What are the three kinds? Um, I'm not sure. Not sure. <laughs> of course, the first kind is tourists. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tourists cannot speak Japanese, but they are very interested in Japanese culture. And the second type is businessmen. They are um, they find they want to find business chance in Japan, and want to they would like to sell their products or service, or they uh, want to have some cooperation with the local company, or they uh, would like to have some investment in Japan. So the last kind of people is um, who very who has a deep understanding in Japan. And they have Japanese spirits. Mm -hmm. So, Miss um, Halada thought I am the third type oh. because I love Japan so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what do you think the three kind of people who visit Japan? Um, I'm not really sure about the second mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. for business because mm -hmm. I've heard in the UK that mm -hmm. it's quite difficult to mm -hmm. find business in Japan. Uh, that's true. Yes. Yeah. As Mm -hmm. You know, business in Japan tend to just mm -hmm. stay in Japan. Yeah. yeah, not so friendly to the foreigners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the first one and the second one, I would mm -hmm. say yes, because, mm -hmm. you know, Japan is isolated and yeah. it's, you know, far from almost every other country. That's true. Yes. And I wouldn't go, you know, all the mm -hmm. way to the country if I wasn't mm -hmm. interested in the country. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's very interesting. And uh, recently there is tendency and people who are interested in Japanese culture are increasing. Do you find this tendency yeah, <laughs> in, yeah, from the news? Yeah. Yes, the realization of Japan, Pax Japanica needs support from all over the world. So I think it's a very good um, thing to know. So um, do you know some news um, that is relative to this tendency? Um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> So I believe mm. that you heard the news that Japan yeah. will start opening up the border for oh, tourists. I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On tenth of June. Mm -hmm. And I want to inform you yeah. that the World Economic Forum mm -hmm. recently published a ranking mm -hmm. that Japan has topped the mm -hmm. global ranking of tourism really? destinations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. It releases that report every mm -hmm. two years. So. Mm -hmm. We can expect a lot mm -hmm. of tourism coming in Japan in okay. the near future. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the latest ranking. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually the first time mm -hmm. that Japan has taken a top honor. Oh yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. Miss Lo, mm -hmm. what do you think the reasons of Japan being top one tourism oh, destination? Yeah, there's so many reasons for visiting Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, first of all, I like the food of Japan. Washaku yeah. is so delicious. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And the second one is very important. Uh, Japan is a very safe country. And you can you don't want um, you don't need to worry about your belongings um, mm. will be stolen by yeah. somebody. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Very good security. And the second one, uh, the third one is the most important is the high level of hospitality. And every um, the staff in restaurant or in the shops there have a very high um, Serving skills and communication mm -hmm. skills. Um, the best example is the how to say Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very enjoyable place. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that's the reason for the visitor. Okay, mm -hmm. so actually the reason is it's natural mm -hmm. and cultural resources. Yes. Public transportation okay. and hygiene have oh, been rated very hygiene. good, which yeah. is very true. Yes, yeah. I can understand it. Yeah. Totally. 
<laughs> you all need to visit Japan once. Yes. Okay, thank you, Miss Nagano. And um, so this is our topic for today. And thank you for your encouraging news. <laughs> Japan is no doubt taking a more and more important role in the global community. So we are looking forward to see Pax Japanica become a reality in the near future. And at last there is a notification from Nagano Sam. Okay, mm -hmm. so I wanted to mm -hmm. say that I will be running the company's Instagram, mm -hmm. Isha's yeah. uh, Instagram, yeah. and I will probably be mm -hmm. in the stream yeah. and uh, in the post or story. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I want you all mm -hmm. to check the Instagram. Yeah, that's very good news. <laughs> and um, besides the Instagram, then we have uh, another site called Lead Rejog site. Yes, you can check um, from the internet. And uh, we uh, will update our latest um, social contribution activities in the Rejog site. So please um, don't forget to check it. So thank you so much for watching today's program. And if you have any comments, please don't hesitate to let us know. And email Taksa or this. So welcome to visit our Instagram and Rejog HB site. And see you next time. See you next time.